Hey, 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 what you say? Yes, yes, it's a brand new day. Or should I say a brand new evening? Hmm, let's keep it at a brand new day. How are you guys? Let's keep it real. I am well and I hope you are too. Thanks for stopping by. I always enjoy uh, seeing you guys. Of course, not really. You guys get to see me. I don't get to see you, but I'm so grateful for all of my new subscribers. I am almost at 500 subscribers. So I want to thank you in advance for subscribing if you haven't and uh, welcoming all of you who have subscribed lately uh, since my last video. Well, today I am going to be talking about this beauty right here. This is Kimmel Wig, uh, uh, KW110SG Silver. I found it in my local beauty store today. I was having a frustrating uh, time trying to decide how I want my next uh, braiding style. And in that uh, time of looking, I went to two different stores. I was just trying to see, you know, how I want my hair braided. And since my hair is changing colors from its normal color black to this white, I have uh, white streaks in there and I have uh, it kind of all around, scattered around my hair. So I wonder what I look like if I wore my hair in its natural color um, as I got older. So I decided to try on some wigs that would give me some idea if I wore um, the dramatic color of white and silver looking hair you know, with the ombre or just say salt and pepper. And when I tried this wig on, wow, I fell right in love with it because it gave me something. I don't know if you guys could see what I see, but because it looked good on me, I wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope you see what I see. Um, this is um, great fiber. It says the heat resistant is up to 400, I would not try heat on this hair. Um, but it's really good fiber. I had it on for several hours. I have not had any shedding in this hair whatsoever. I'll let you see what it looks like in the back. Can you see that? It has a nice little bump to it. Um, let's keep it real. Let's keep it safe. Um, the only two things I don't like about this hair is that harsh line right there. But girl, I could put a hat on it and keep it moving. The other thing I don't like about it is that line right there. You know, I'm not a wig guru or, you know, the ones who pull out the hairs to make it look realistic. We all know this is a wig. Everybody knows this is not my natural hair color. You know, my natural hair. I am kinky coily so i'm gonna keep it real with people if they ask me if it looked like a wig i'll tell them where i got it from i paid 29 actually it was 29.99 but i got a discount so i only paid about 28 dollars for it um but on um what is this site this is uh hair stop and shop it's only 17.50 there's jet black 1b uh there's even a soft, a teal color. Um, there's several colors to choose from. I chose this one. What do you guys think? I think it is a beautiful, beautiful wig. Let's do that all around one more time or just the back so you can see. Um, I hope I'm doing a good, um, you can see it really good. I am 5'11". And uh, it, I love the length of it. I love that it gives me this little bitty bump. But hey, when I tried this on, I was like, this is giving me some vibes here. This is this is life right here. I like that little swoop right there. And that's the only the only two cons I have is the ones I gave you. But everything else on this wig is the bomb. I'm sure in the wind, it'll be some flyaways. But you know, we can always take care of that with a little bit of wax or whatever you have that you use. I'm probably not going to have that issue because I'm going to just put a hat on and keep it moving. Um... Anyway, again, this was pretty cheap, I thought, so I went ahead and purchased it. Usually, I do not purchase at my local beauty store. I usually 
go there, try on a wig, and then get it online because it's usually cheaper. But this price was all right. Had I seen that it was $17.50, I would have waited and ordered it online because I do see other colors. But my main um, goal was to find a wig of this kind of color to give me understanding of what my new hairstyle would look like if I choose to go um, the silver, gray. I don't want gray. I more so want the salt and pepper look. Um, even if it came down a little bit more and gave me more, you know, pepper and salt together, I just wanted to see what it looked like. So this is what I got and I think it's cute. What do you guys think? Um, leave a comment, like, subscribe. I just had to bring it to you and keep it real. This is a beautiful wig. And again, it is really nice. It's not too thin. It's definitely not too thick. It's kind of realistic when you put a hat on it. Um, I did pull out some baby hairs, a little that I have. I even have the white in there, as you can see. But no biggie. Um, I don't really care what other people think as far as if it's a wig or a sew-in or whatever they think. I really don't care. I just think it's a beautiful, fun uh, night out or whenever I want to put it on. Hey. So... Thank you for coming on and watching, stopping by and watching my video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you subscribing since my last video. Um, hit the notification if you're interested in my other uploads. And what else is there? Is there anything else I want to say? Thank you for watching. God bless you and keep you and have a wonderful day.